the ambassador to NATO, the U.S. ambassador to NATO, it seems like it was a little uh, bit of a wrist slap there for Canada. Uh, it was a bit of a wrist slap, and it was frankly a bit humiliating because it comes uh, after Stoltenberg, uh, the Secretary General of NATO, last week. You know, very polite terms. You know, Canada is a G7 country. You're you're a rich country. You're the only country in the world that fronts on three oceans. You have to step up to the plate. Now Trudeau keeps using that very word. He keeps saying, "We'll, we'll step up. We'll be there." But it's not true. And it wasn't true under the Conservatives. Trudeau's right to point that out. But being wrong twice doesn't make things <laughs> right. And and it's it's unbelievable that Canada was such a proud military history. We we were involved in the First World War long before the Americans and contributed mightily in treasure and in human lives to, to both world wars and to the Korean conflict. Those were things that we can be proud of. And that history is being lost right now. We're under equipped. We have almost nothing in the cupboard. We, we want to help Ukraine, but We've got barely anything for ourselves, much less something to share. So it, it is, for the average Canadian, quite quite humiliating to have the United States, our closest ally, saying, come on, when are you going to get with the program? You're one of the founding nations of NATO, and you're not pulling your, your, your weight. I think that that message is starting to get through to Canadians anyway. I don't know if it's gotten through to Mr. Trudeau. Will it play with, does it play with Canadians to, to not uh, contribute as much to NATO? Is that what they're looking at? Is that what they're thinking? Or we just don't have the money? We have the money. It's a question of priorities, and uh, we're, we're putting the money elsewhere. But the other thing is, too, the world has become a much more difficult place in the past five years. And we, we just talked, uh, you know, in the, just prior to you and I starting, you were looking at what was happening in Ukraine, the two-year anniversary of that horrible illegal Russian invasion that has cost so many lives there. Gaza, Israel is, is something that's on, not even on the front pages as much as it should be because it's really dangerous that that conflict could widen. And there are any a number of other conflicts. So Canada has to be able to play its role, to do its part. It's the right thing militarily, of course. It's the right thing geopolitically. It's the right thing morally. We, we, we have to be there. We have to do our part. Okay. And we've just been, we've become laggards. We've, we've just completely fallen to the back of the pack. All right, Tom, I, I've probably gone too long talking to you, but always appreciated hearing your insight. Thank you very much for joining All us. All the best, Roger. Take care. Cheers. Tom Mulcair, CTV News political commentator and former NDP leader.